Hey guys, see Wade here doing Hack the Site Realistic Mission 12. Red Dance and I are just kicking them to you guys, getting them out of the way. And just to get this um, out there in the open, there are some theories, discussions, and tutorials out there on beating this mission. Is that you just go to the guestbook and there's supposedly the login info there. That's just uh, the spoiler way of doing it. Somebody posted uh, the login info there and the uh, file paths so that's not how you actually beat the mission if you've beat the mission like that and thought that you actually beat realistic mission 12 legit you just beat it the spoiler way so I'm actually gonna show you guys how to beat it uh, legitimately so what we need to do is get into the Heartland School District admin panel and clear the list of blocked websites because the students are restrained to only browsing their district website and they are running a Windows 95 machine so we're going to go to their website and the first thing we're going to notice is the address and navigation bar up here followed by our other page down here so this is all iframed so we're going to go ahead and go into firebug and take a look and we have internet.pl and we have page.pl so up here is using an internet.pl file profile and down here for our iframe is going to be using page.pl file so with these two profiles that's how everything's navigating so keeping that in mind we're gonna go ahead and look at teacher pages and we would just check our firebug for anything new nothing whoops nothing that's a cool background nothing I'm gonna go to student work and we would be checking the students work and eventually ending up to Joey Simmons and we would go to his guest book and um, what we would be doing is we would be looking to see what our uh, form action right here is doing so we would I'm gonna refresh firebug just to make sure it gets it uh, we're gonna go into our body into the iframe and we have our form action right here and when we press submit what it's doing is it's doing the form action of what guest PL is specified to do under the CGI bin directory so I'm gonna go ahead and try to go to the CGI bin directory directly and the permissions do not allow me to read that directory so we're gonna go ahead and try guest.pl because that's what it's reading from we get nothing doesn't show anything so we need to go back into firebug the source and what we want to do is we want to look at what our form action is doing to see if we can manipulate it with our profile and what it's doing is with the um, action name it's using the value write so basically whatever we type in here it's writing to some sort of file probably an HTML or a txt document some sort of flat file and with that we're just gonna go ahead and try to manipulate it so instead of internet.pl we're gonna go ahead and do guest.pl and then we're gonna do question mark and then we're gonna type in action because that's the name down here action equals read that's the opposite of write we're gonna try to read something we're gonna try to manipulate the script instead of writing to a file we're gonna try to read a file and then we're just gonna go and file equals see what we get and to our success this uh, traverse method has worked we can read whatever we want on the server file not found let's just check just in case for uh, remote exploits we cannot read Google with this profile so if we were able to we would be able to include a file if we wanted to and have access to server options and deface pages etc we're not going to be doing that though because the vulnerability is not there um, so yeah what we're gonna do is we're gonna be looking for some sort of common file flat file name we're just gonna try like guestbook.html file not found we're gonna try guestbook.txt there we go the file is found so we have guestbook.txt on their server so basically what we need to do now is try to find the admin panel and read it uh, through our little uh, Perl script with our action read and file 
parameters so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our district website and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here into our address and see if we can go to a, one of our hard drives uh, well one of the district's hard drives not ours and we're gonna type in like the C drive make sure and the document was moved here we're gonna try it with our file parameter C and we are into the C drive so we're gonna take that and we're gonna go into our web directory and we're gonna try to go into CGI bin because that's where some important files are page has been blocked let's try Perl page has been blocked well let's try HTML and HTML is not blocked and if you notice uh, in our directory listing we have heart we have our heartland admin panel so we're gonna take that heartland admin panel dot HTML and we're gonna go ahead and go back to our main district page and then we're gonna paste that over our CGI bin internet PL and here's our admin panel so we're gonna go ahead and check for SQL injection vulnerability uh, we're just gonna see if we get anything nope so just from our basic test it's not vulnerable to SQL injection from what I've seen so what we're gonna do is open up firebug and check some of the sources out to see if we can find uh, an inclusion and we do have an inclusion CGI bin slash heartland admin panel dot pl so we need to take that uh, path to that profile because it's using that profile to log in and what we're gonna do is we're going to use that with our theory of the guestbook traverse uh, navigation I'm trying to figure out my wording and we're gonna go ahead and view that profile so we're gonna go to our sign my guest book guest.pl and then we're gonna take this paste it after our file equals parameter file not found well, let's try it without our CGI bin because it's reading from there on default there we go so we get this little messed up page we're gonna go into our source and see if we can search for anything like username uh, we'll just go in directly and we have if we look at the source we have username equals and then a password equals so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this username which is jbardis I'm gonna put that in my little Google search bar and we're gonna take the password and put that in our clipboard and now we're gonna go back to the Heartland administration panel and we're gonna log in and we're basically just going to delete it all or clear all and we've completed realistic mission 12 so that's how you do it the legit way without the spoiler and the guest book